with that. Wow. That's gorgeous. That's very nice. This is gonna be fun. All right, let's get into this. Right away, you can see how it's inspired by a performance approach. That aggressive nature to the front, the front splitter, you've got the fog lamps that come around, but that aggressiveness is balanced out by the elegance of the brand. You look at the double arch grill, which is essentially a bridge that's reflected in the water, which you can find in a lot of Japanese art, and that's framing what is essentially a ripple behind the logo that shoots out and kind of sends energy down the vehicle. And that ripple is created by the variable compression turbo engine that's inside. This engine has the ability to change the compression ratio on the fly for both power and efficiency. That energy that started at the front of the vehicle transfers through the eyebrow headlights underneath that clamshell hood into this character line where the door handles are integrated into that line, which is not an easy task. And all that energy continues and accumulates here with a coupe-like roof line. The shape reminds me of the iconic FX. That energy that started as a ripple of water from the front travels up and over this aerodynamic back with a spoiler that enhances the performance vibe. And the energy that comes from the side travels all the way down until it gets to these beautiful piano key tail lights, almost spilling like a waterfall in the back. Now, moving the license plate down to the bottom and getting rid of a physical latch means that the function no longer interferes with the form of the vehicle. So if you want to open it, there you go. And you can see the cargo height is low for easy loading. And of course, if your hands are full, you can just give it a kick. First thing that stands out is Monaco Red. This really pops. These are very comfortable seats. Semi aniline leather feels very nice. Okay, nice stitching. Even the grain of the wood kind of leads your eye all the way around to the front. You get a very nice driver centric dash here tilted towards me. Not to mention you've got two screens, so they broke up the navigation up top with the comfort and convenience below. Arm just kind of rests right where it needs to for the controls. Feels a little bit more like a cockpit than anything. And you got the head-up display, so it is like a cockpit. And I've been told that this car has Apple CarPlay integration, but in here it's wireless. So turn it on. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, look at that. And of course, it supports Android Auto as well. And this button here is my Pro Pilot Assist. So with one touch of a button, I can turn on or off the driver assist features. Turning it on means that I sit in traffic and now my vehicle speeds up when that vehicle speeds up or slows down when they slow down. It even helps keep me in my lane around gentle curves, which makes traffic certainly much more tolerable. In addition to looking good, this vehicle can help keep you safe. To the front of you, to the side of you, or behind you, this vehicle can detect things that you might not see. For example, it has the ability to detect a potential collision two vehicles ahead. Which means even though that driver may not be paying attention, you can still have peace of mind. In short, the QX55 is an awesome blend of aggression, elegance, and forward-thinking technology. I gotta thank the folks at Infinity for letting me take a peek at something that's never been seen before, and uh, I look forward to seeing this on the road very soon.